I didn't sleep much at all last night. I woke up about 3.30 ready to go and just anxious and looking forward to getting started. Let's go, Tommy. Hey, let's get started. Here we go, listen up. Sit up straight, feet on the floor, respect, accountability, hustle, set. Um, we got a little video for you guys to get started here. So hit those lights. Now this is the law of the jungle. As old and as true as the sky. And the wolf that shall keep it may prosper. But the wolf that shall break it must die. As the creeper that girdles the tree trunk, the law runneth forward and back. For the strength of the pack is the wolf, and the strength of the wolf is the pack. Breaking a tackle and going in for the win! Touchdown, it's Roberson! Nevada wins! You have to feel that something special is happening in every successful football program. There aren't that many games, there aren't that many teams. So in order for any program to have success, it has to feel special. We've been playing football here in Nevada for 121 years. This is the 121st year of football in Nevada. So you're part of a very special group. And we talk about making the jersey better, right? And, and so think about that as you guys start tomorrow. You guys put your practice jersey on. You put that helmet on. All the people that you represent. We always talk about this every camp. I keep. I keep this, this is my credentials from the last game of the season last year. I keep it by my desk. It's the first thing I see every morning. It's the last thing I see every night. You know why? Go back to the last one. Because I don't see this. We can talk about it. We can do all these things. But if you don't own it, it don't get done. Hey, let's go, let's go. Own it on me, own it on three, one, two, three. Own it. Go to work, let's go. first day of pads is a day your your blood's running hot and it was pretty competitive out there speed you gotta be on you gotta be on everywhere you go i mean there's gonna be fights man it's it's hot out you know we we see each other every day you're going to get the same guy probably every single time you know, tempers are flaring up a little bit, but we know all in all, like, I'm going to need you come Purdue, I'm going to need you come Oregon, and we're going to be together. We're going to walk out there, and we're going to fight together as one. It is football. I mean, you know, everybody's not a choir boy, and, and uh, you have to have a certain edge to be good. And we really hang our hat on physicality. That's something that we've been building since we've been here. We want to be the most physical team in this conference. Sometimes there gets to be a little chippiness, but as long as we're at control that's okay it caught up now we don't wor don't worry about that hey they're supposed I'm on their ass they're supposed to be confident they're supposed to they're supposed to be John all right let's execute and keep a cool head on offense 
it's cool though. I think it kind of brings you together in a way. You know, you get in a fight, you guys back each other up, and then we squash it, we move on. Big Smooth, did you have something to say? Okay. Hey, uh, hey, we got a long journey, bro. We got a long, it's day five. It's day five, bro. We want to be the best team in the Mount West. It's going to take some time. It's day five. Let's be patient with it. Receivers, I know y'all. I, I felt that. I heard what you were saying, bro. Felt that, yeah. for real. You feel me? Yeah. But it's day five, bro. Everybody, y'all do y'all job and get better every day. We got two more weeks, bro. Two more weeks. And we getting ready for, for Purdue. You got two more weeks to put on out here, man. So give everything you got. Everybody's tired. Everybody legs hurt. We feel that. We all feel that, man. But let's go, man. Let's be the best hey, offense hey, in the Mount West. Hey, we've been practicing in the past, baby. Let's do this. Hey, oh, oh, three. One, two, three. Oh. It's good stuff. It's the dog days of camp, man. There's no question the biggest story coming into training camp is who the starting quarterback will be against Purdue. You know, super excited for sure. You know, new, you know, going into this deal, we, we have Chris Solano and Carson Strong and of course Malik Henry and, and uh, we're really excited to get, you know, get to work with those guys and, you know, we had the summer off as the coaching staff. And so we spent a lot of time with our guys in June, but when we finally got a chance to get back, you know, it, it, was, it was game on. You know, Chris is, is really intelligent. Chris right now would be further ahead in, in the game of being able to change plays and stuff like that. Chris is like Ty, he's, you know, he can move around. He's got that mobility where he can escape. Solano had game action with the Wolfpack last year against Fresno State. There's nothing like the live fire of a game and a conference game against a rival. Fire it. God, I like it. Malik has done a tremendous job since he's been here. You know, he's done everything I've asked of him. Hey, did y'all get good work on it turning inside, Malik? Yeah, on the option yeah, route? Okay, good. When they're jumping outside? Yeah, we worked that one. We worked uh, if the corner's sitting outside and the backer's here to sit up. Uh, good, perfect, perfect. Yeah. yeah, tell you what, there's there's some times on the field when Malik's really understanding it well that he, he throws a really good ball and he throws some balls that, you know, wow, you, you know, they kind of make you go in awe. Go get it! That a boy. Good job, Malik. Everybody knows him from the television show, and, and I try not to prejudge people. I've had a lot of players that had transfer over the years in the NFL. I'd get free agents, and I'd have to train them to play, you know, in short notice. So I, I've learned not to judge a book by its cover, and Malik's a very intelligent guy. He loves his teammates, and he just wants to do a good job for his team. Retreat, 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 retreat. Go get it, Dom. He's been in a couple different systems. He's been coached by good people. He's at Florida State with Jimbo Fisher. Um, so now it's just about him applying our terminology to the concepts that he already knows. Doesn't take long. Give it a peek. Now come off. There you go, good. Carson is your prototypical pocket passer. He is your Peyton Manning, your Tom Brady. Now, he's not to that level yet, obviously, but that's what he's going to look like. He's going to stand tall in the pocket, and he's going to throw really accurately, and he's going to put the ball on, on receivers. Retreat, 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 retreat. That's it. Perfect, perfect. Good, I like that one. He's a very calm, uh, smart, accurate passer. He's got a tremendous release. He's six foot five, which is really helpful at the position. Um, he's got good pocket movement, really uh, accurate, and can throw all the throws that we like to throw in this offense. The arm. The arm was magnificent, and you notice it immediately when you go to practice. And I pulled Coach Norvell aside after a practice one day in camp, and I said, am I seeing this right? Are you guys, am I seeing this right? He's throwing NFL balls. And Coach said, yeah, you're seeing that right. You know, the competition of it's fun. And, and I think the biggest thing about it is when you have that competition, it, it makes them both stronger. So at the end of the day, I think you end up with a stronger product on the field at quarterback than if you just had your one guy and he wasn't really having to compete with other, two other guys. You know, so I think in this case, they've all made each other better. Go, go. Yeah, Christian Solano, Carson Strong, and Malik Henry all had strong cases to be made to be the starter. But Christian Solano got hurt early in camp. When it happened, I knew 
it probably wasn't good. And, you know, and to Chris's credit, he tried to come back in and throw some more balls. And, and I just saw, I was like, okay, we need to, we need to get you to the side. And we finally came and sat down with the doctors, the team doctors in, in the training room. It, you know, it was emotional. And, and Chris is an emotional young man. And, and you knew how hard he had worked all summer, how hard he had worked all off season and spring to get to where he was. And he did a tremendous job in the spring and he was looking really good here in the beginning of camp. You know, I worked for the Raiders and Al Davis had a saying, you know, football's a contact sport. You need more than one player at every position to really uh, be competitive. And over the course of the year, we're gonna have to play more than one guy. Carson and Malik and Austin are doing a good job in practice right now. They've done well in the last week and a half. Listen to some good music. It's kind of what we do here. We doing the usual approach? Yes, sir. Uh, we tell them the truth, the whole truth. <laughs> 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 Any questions? Any questions? Yeah. Yeah. Look, I, I'm, I'm, I'm Coach Jay all the way, right? So, you know, when we, when we keep our ears to the, to the ground, you know, some people don't have a lot of pleasant things to say. So I had to let him know that. Like, man, that's why we win bowl games. Yeah. Prove them wrong. So I'm happy about that. But well, we talk about everything. My, my dad uh, used to take me in Madison, Wisconsin. And, uh, you know, back in the day, he used to get a sucker. He used to, uh, you still give suckers to the kids? Yeah. <laughs> back in the day, and that go sucker. Go Crazy. That's how we bribe them all the time. <laughs> By the time they're done, they're like, parents are like 10 gumballs deep. I've oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, never been able to grow much facial hair, so I gotta keep every little bit I got. Hey, coach, I know how it is, man. <laughs> man Rodrigo man. can feel that. Man. Hey, that's all I got, man. It's this mustache. That's it. <laughs> I hold on to it. The other time I'm I messed it up. I'm trying to protect the right? little hair I got. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah. So how about the mustache? I don't, let, I don't let just anybody touch the mustache. <laughs> Come on here. Go Coach, take it easy, man. Taboo. Coach. We'll yes, see you next week. <laughs> good, good, good. You're out of control. Good, 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 good. <laughs> You know, it's funny, um, you know, I used to play football across the street from, from my, my house on the schoolyard, and I would always pretend like I was in the NFL, but I also would pretend like I was a coach. And so from almost my youngest memory, I always wanted to coach. Yes, sir. <laughs> let's go, let's get, let's get this period started, let's go! He's a great dude, man. I, I love Coach Norville, man. I I'd run through a wall for that guy. You know, and, uh, when he recruited me and I came here, I like his old school mentality. I like the way he coaches. Um, and he cares a lot about, he cares a lot about the school in Nevada, just in general. Listen up, the word for the day is own it. Own your focus, own your performance today. Own your effort today. Coach Norvell is a fiery guy. Um, I, I love his, 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 his attack to practice. Put the ball outside shoulder, come back, come back, come back. outside shoulder, good. He takes a good leadership um, role with the offense, and uh, and, it, and it just it brings up the morale as a team, honestly. Norvell, he's uh, he's for the players. I say, you know, he's um, 
that's what one of the, one of the other reasons why I like the reason why I came here was because I seen how he treats his players and how he um, is just for his team. He's always asking about the guys, like, hey, how's how's so and so doing? How's so and so doing? And he's asking, and how are you doing? Is there anything that we can help with? You know, he just wants us to be happy. You know, and he 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 wants us to feel good about things. Um, and he, he's a player's coach. I think the team genuinely loves Jay. I think all of his teams have loved him. But this is the third year, and so guys have been in the system three years, some of them, and the love grows, and the joy they experience together grows and develops, and it becomes more profound. And I think that's part of why Jay is a good head coach. Good work, good work. Touch somebody. You touch anybody? Touch you. Are you not touching nobody today? Oh, it's like that? It's like that? They go, take a knee, take a knee, take a knee, take a knee. Do not change the channel. Set, red, set, blue, blue, set, set. Darn it. These football players are smarter than we think. Why is special teams so important? Really? You don't come to any meetings or anything? It wins football games. It absolutely wins football games. Yeah, Tommy's a unique guy in his own right, you know. Uh, oh! East Texas guy. Craziest things I've done. Come out here, came out here without seeing the place. It might be a good off-camera deal. <laughs> Run, I mean, running with the balls the second time. The first time you're just dumb. And you just do, you know, you have some lines, so you're just willing to do whatever. You know, the special teams guys are missing a couple of nuts and bolts, so they, <laughs> he loves special teams. I mean, if you watch Tommy during the game, he's jumping up and down, running down the sidelines. But that, that enthusiasm is infectious. We tell him, hey, take the field like a man. You know what I mean? Take the field with some swagger. Walk around the office with some swagger. Rapid fire holds. Where's my dot? Oh, come on, man. All right. Chris Perry's great. He's awesome. Uh, I would say he's a unique special teams personality, but I would say I'm a unique special teams personality. We're different. Pressure's on. This is what I was made for right here, baby. Two freshmen in my shield right now. Here we go. Catch the ball. Mold the ball. Drop the ball. And full cover. Run, 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 run. Get the tackle. Get the tackle. Get the tackle. Get the Quentin Conaway is great. I think he embraces the role that has existed throughout the history of football, which is special teams guys are kind of goofy. He reminds you of Fabio, you know, a male model, but he's just just a great personality. Nobody has more fun than Quentin. Um, I really wish I had better product. I really like using Alba uh, shampoo and conditioner. Uh, I wash my hair like once a day at least or twice a day. Most people say it's really bad for it, but every time I go get a, like a little trim or a haircut or people touch me, they're like, oh, your hair's so soft. And I'm like, yeah, no, no crap. It's because I washed all the time. All these people talk about washing your hair once a week. I'm like, that's disgusting. He's got that that uh, Scooby-Doo van. Yeah, I'm gonna have an interview one day where they're not gonna talk about the barbecue sauce van. The, the, the minivan has basically uh, gotten a mythical status amongst the football team and amongst coaching staff. Um, I looked inside of it once when it was in my driveway and I, I turned around and ran. It's, I mean, it's just a, it's an awful monstrosity, but Q seems pretty proud of it. Here we are, we're at Moana Sports Complex, heading to Field 8 to support the Red Dragons, right? Wolfpack, essentially. Pretty the much the wolf, the Red Wolf. Uh, no red, that doesn't no sound. Red in the but no red in the building. That could be here. That could be. Let's go. Oh, team defense! No! Get up there! Oh. There you go! Go, go June! Go, 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 go June! Go, go June! Oh! Go to goal! Go to goal! No! Uh, yes! Man! Oh, Jude! Defense! Jude! Defense! Oh! oh. The best job in the world, you know? I coach some of the best people. I mean, they're really good, good people. Coach Castile reminds me all the time. These kids are great. There's inherent advantages and disadvantages in every program, and I've been to a lot of them. But this place here, just a tremendous, 
group of young men that really, really care. And they've got to depend on me. I got to depend on them. We got to trust one another. And if I'm not willing to put the work in, I'm not willing to bring the excitement. How in the world can I expect these guys to? Red, red, set. There it is. Good job. Tiny, baby. Got the dog food. Got TT. Double duties today. Double duties. Tell them, tell them. So with Solano out and Malik Henry nursing an injured hamstring, all eyes, all expectations were on Carson Strong for the first sprint. Hey, I'm live. You guys, look at him. I think the best way to explain. Uh, uh, Carson is that, you know, he was redshirted last year and we had a senior quarterback and he used to text me every Friday night and say, coach, I'm ready to go if you need me. And, you know, he'd badger me to play every week. And, and uh, you know, the first play he got in, his first college play, he audible and checked the play. I looked at Matt, I said, are you kidding me? He's checking his first play in college football. The thing about Carson is he's a really, really energetic kid, and he and he's out there and he's always having fun. I mean, he has fun when he's live. You know, he's the first quarterback I've ever had that came up to us in the spring to me and Coach Norvell and said, "Hey, can I be live? I want to get hit." You know, and you don't have a lot of quarterbacks in college go, "Hey, you know what? I'm ready to be hit." You know, so you know he's a lot of fun to be around, and, and he's and he loves to study, and so he studies the offense probably more than anybody we have in, in the entire offensive group. So, you know, that's kind of an advantage that he's found. The scariest part of that first scrimmage was Don Peterson getting hurt on the first snap. He's the heart and soul of the defensive line and probably the most spirited in addition to being the best guy returning on that unit and he went down with a knee injury on the very first snap of that scrimmage. I just think he twisted himself up in the pile and hopefully it's not serious and, and uh, he'll be back out here soon. We're helping uh, all the Nevada fifth freshmen move in today, so it's gonna should be a cool little turnout. Okay. We got two moms here that we get eleven bags. Okay. So these are all our bags right here, all eleven. Got of you, them. got you. Okay, then I guess we have. About, I, have I have five sons. About, about five, <laughs> five sons. No, we play in uh, Purdue first. I knew it was a Big Ten. Okay. Here or there? There. Here. Oh, they're coming here. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a good one. Here we go. Here we go. Coach, you making rounds. <laughs> you making rounds, Coach. Coach, we got it. It's great. I, I, everybody remembers moving day when you first go to college, and it's not an easy day. And uh, I think it's just great. Our guys can jump in and help people move their stuff. We can squeeze, yeah. You get, all the sure. DJ, you get all the DJ equipment in there. I'm about to break a sweat. Text me when it's cold. Mm -hmm. It ain't really started yet. Let's slide through here. There they are. Here we go. Yeah, just stand there and watch them carry stuff. These rooms is about to be yeah. crazy. Yeah. Oh. oh my god, look at this. This is unbelievable. You guys get TVs. <laughs> Y'all get TV. Oh, look at this view. They got it nice. They got it nice. I shouldn't have wear this long sleeve so I can see the muscles. Hey, coach. Uh, good, to see you. You. good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. I, Angus is, uh, my Scottish brother, I've known Ingus for many years. I call his office the snack shop. Well, we always start on the left side and we kind of work clockways through Costco. It all started back when I was a young coach. Uh, I used to bring red vines into my office and that's how I was able to kind of attract not only the head coach, but coordinators and also players. 
And so that's kind of how I got the nickname Uncle Angus. So many kids come in, grab a couple pieces of candy, grab some licorice, sit down and kind of tell me what's going on in their world. He's got, man, I think pretzels, always has a bunch of different candies. My favorite is like the little peanut butter pretzels. Everybody loves these. But, you know, he's, he's known for his candy selection. This is Coach Norvell's favorite mix, and it's got the $100,000 bar, which is his favorite as a kid, so got to make sure the boss uh, gets the candy of his choice. It seems like you grab two everything, right? Just like Noah's Ark. Of course, goldfish. Always need those. We'll get a couple of these for the office. Most of the players and athletes like the Red Vines. And uh, Aaron Frost loves these, eats them by the handful. Some of my former bosses, Coach Mora, would uh, actually grab a giant handful. And you know, most people eat red vines one at a time, but he would eat it by the bundle, which was interesting to watch. All right, last one, we'll turn it. Double, double. Nope, single. All right. When I went to UCLA as a coordinator, I brought Angus with me to UCLA and then he was there for 12 years. I tried to hire him uh, when I first got the job and I just couldn't get him away from Westwood, but he's got deep roots in this area. He's got family from this area. He's, he's coached at Nevada before with Coach Alt. Good morning. We got Nevada drill. Come on, Jack. He's just a great addition, you know, I call him Inspector Gadget because he's got all kind of little gadgets and, you know, the GoPro and all his sticks and his, you know, bands and everything that he takes to practice, but he's a great teacher, um, loves his players and the players know that. He's got a great relationship. All right, man, I will give you a break every 20 minutes because you have FOMO. Fear of missing out. You can look at snap face, check your voicemail. Actually, you guys don't even leave messages. If you're in a bad mood and Angus comes along, um, you, you are definitely a, a happier guy. Um, you, he's the type of guy that he's going to yell at you, but he's also going to pat you on the back. Um, and it's going to make you that much better because you know that he's supporting you no, no matter what. I'm hard posting. I step inside. I'm dragging my outside foot. Look at my feet. <laughs> yeah, I think today somebody said, I could hear him all the way in Fallon. <laughs> Hey, if you do this and bring your feet over, do I have power? No, Zero power. Here we go. Stab and drag your feet. Set. You know, the union is a longtime fraternity of offense alignment that was started here by Coach Alt early, early on when he took the helm here at Nevada. I believe it's one of the oldest fraternities on the West Coast when it comes to, to offense alignment of football. Uh, but I take a lot of pride in being involved with the union. I'm proud to be the leader of the union. I understand the tradition and the players that have played here and the guys that have moved on not only to the NFL, but have moved on professionally and in all different areas. They're not all about the hype. They're about grinding and getting stuff done, being productive and, uh, and allowing uh, the football team to be what it needs to be. And that's what the union's all about. 2022, set. Ah! That's not squeezing, you're crossing his face. It's just, it's one of those things where once you're in that room, you really know what it means to be a union member. You see all the past um, union guys, and you know, it, it's an honor, it's a privilege, not everyone gets to do it. And you know, everyone in there right now, I can promise you, knows what it means to be a union member. Great. Game ground. That's it, eyes up. Shoot you know, up. it Shoot means up. having a blue collar, hard working mentality. You know, offensive linemen aren't born, they're made. This is really good here. Really good with your eyes, Frost. Really good with your eyes, Beecher. Nice job here. A little bit more physical though, right? You know, I think it helps, it helps with the Nevada grit. You need a good, strong union. Vi has nothing to prove in the game of football. He's the second leading rusher in the history of this program, and he played in the NFL. You know, I had my press conference, and then the next day um, we came in early, and I know Doug and I were walking in the parking lot about 5, 5.15, and it was misty, raining, and 
um, this guy was waiting in the parking lot and it was Vital. I never met him before and uh, it just really made an impression on me. And I just got out, introduced myself and and he uh, sat down with me or we sat down a little bit later and then he offered me a, a job or really created a job for me. I just really wanted a place for him there. It's really important, you know, when you're coaching at a school, if you have a former player, somebody that understands the history. It was one of my dreams to kind of come back here and coach. That's what I'm talking about. Black, black, black. Well, I remember being a kid and, and watching him and his play style. He led by example and um, you know, he, the way he ran the ball was, had a big influence on how I ran my ball today. Still hand up. Big hole up the middle tower to the 35-30. He's to the 20. Still rolling 15. He's at the 10. He's knocking over tacklers and down to the two-yard line. He's elusive. I mean, he's, he's powerful. He's got some speed to him. I mean, he can make you miss. It's, that's one thing. He's got better than me. He can, he'll make you miss for sure. And he's great because he combines the two great assets of running backs, speed and power, and he's got both. Pick it up, pick it up. Right, here we go. I, need, I need energy, baby. Free run, on the ball. Let's go, baby. The, the running back has got to be like Superman. You know, you got to be strong, you got to have good, great conditioning, um, and, and you got to get stronger as the game goes along. And that's what I'm really excited to see with Toa this year. I want to be able to feed that kid and have him continue to make yards as the game goes along. Go, go ahead, Kel. In there, Kel. There you go. Oh, yeah, that's money. That's money, Jack-Jack. It's very rare. I don't know that I've ever had a coach coach his little brother before. And uh, it's, it's a very unique uh, situation. Vi takes pride in all of those backs. And I think those guys really appreciate how he coaches them. But there's just a little extra motivation that I think Toa has to, to play well and, and, and not let his brother down. It's faith, family, football. I mean, that's, that's, that's the house. That's how we were raised. So the school's in there too, but. <laughs> I guess everybody's on the way. No? Let's get that over to Cole. Let's pull the ribs and start chopping them up. Want to chop the ribs? Up? Yeah, everything's in there. Here we go. We're about to get down. Oh man, Saturday Tower Tailgate. You got family. You got some. Usually got some drinks going on. You got uh, footballs playing on the plasma screen TVs. You got just a good time all around and the good smoke. You smell us from a mile away. So. <laughs> a lot of the things that brought my family back here were the tailgates and all the memories with the people and the fans and uh, but yeah musical food. Oh beautiful. Yeah baby. All the men do the cooking back in the back on the rock yeah and our our, uh, our kids are raised like that pretty much. Yeah, for the family. Welcome to the family, game. Oh! <laughs> Where you at? Hello. All right, let's join hands. All right, everyone join hands. Uh, we thank you for uh, the cooks for preparing this wonderful meal for us and that it may strengthen and nurture our bodies. And we said to see them, we just crashed them in. It's that time, baby. This is the time we've been waiting for right here. Man, extra scrimp. Potato salad. Extra scrimp. This is my only joy, man. I really enjoy all this, man. It's what I live for. You know, it's always good to see these guys, man. You know, food brings them. <laughs> this is what Nevada's all about. It's why I came here. It's family. It's the biggest little city in the world, man. Man, you better get you one, man.
It's a great day. We're going to put Nate Edwards on scholarship. He's a walk-on player from Galena High School, which is a local area in South Reno. He's worked extremely hard for the last three and a half years. He's our starting center. It's going to be awesome. You know, we always try to think of some different ways that we could give a kid a scholarship. Oh, Nathan, could you just say, like, count to ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, this is a long time coming. Yeah, it's a long time coming. I want to congratulate you. You're on full scholarship. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, you've earned, you, you've earned every you. dollar. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Thank awesome you, sir. job. No problem. Thank you, Coach. Thank, Thank you. Appreciate well, it. Well, when you see a kid struggle and work hard and go through adversity over a couple, two, three years, and, you know, they don't ever feel like they're going to make it or they're never going to make it on scholarship, and just go through all the ups and downs and have a great attitude and just sacrifice for the program, it's so satisfying to be able to give them a scholarship and give them something back for all their sacrifice and hard work. Oh. Oh. We're feeling good. Feeling good. Dom hurt his uh, knee uh, and he stretched his MCL. We're just really fortunate it wasn't worse than that. It could have been a season ending injury, but uh, I think he dodged a bullet and, and we should get him back soon. Aggressive, you feel? Hey, man. I got it. Uh, I've just been working on uh, getting my strength back in my knee, getting that confidence. Uh, you know, today I did some uh, athletic work uh, going through the ladders and stuff and whatnot, like trying to just get back in the groove of moving around and bending that knee again. I, I want to get back really bad. Like, I, you know, I don't want to rush it too. So that's the thing. Like, I have to understand, like, you know, as bad as I want to get back and play for Purdue, you know, if I'm not feeling it, if it's not feeling right, you know, it's no point in forcing it. Let's go! I called my mom and asked what can I do off the field as far as, you know, still letting them know that I'm a part of this team and I didn't want to feel distant from them. So she just said, you know, put your energy through them, you know, play through them, you know. get their energy hyped and whatnot. So at some point, you know, that's what I want to do for my team. Let's get it loud. One, two, three. 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 Listen. We're getting ready to scrimmage now, okay? We're gonna be, two weeks from tonight, we're gonna be out here this time of night. Let's play smart. Hit each other in the strike zone, play physical, stop on the whistle, play clean. We don't need any penalties, okay? Let's play smart. We're not gonna be out here very long, so take advantage of your snaps. Let's get it, you. Start with you guys, let's go. Hey, right, take care of it. Let's go, y'all. One play at a time, one play at a time. Go, go. We gotta hold on to the ball and protect it, okay? Yes, sir. Box the zone, so we gotta be physical on our double teams. Knock them back, okay? Let's go. Great. Come on. Let's, let's go, boys. Come on, let's pick you it up. You want me to go three? One, two, three. Yeah. We're down by six, okay? So we got, we're gonna have to have two first downs, right? Always two first downs in four minutes or so. Yeah. When you get two first downs, game over. Yeah. Then you come down because the first one they'll call a timeout. We're not gonna have one day. I got you, baby. I got you. Third and 20, I'll wear on everything. I got y'all. We got time now. Get your rest. All right. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. 
What I tell y'all? What I tell y'all? Let's go. What I tell y'all? What I tell y'all? What I tell y'all? What I tell y'all now? What I tell y'all? I told y'all I got y'all. I told you I got you, boy. Good around. Where'd it take you? Great ball, though. Great ball. I thought I overthrew you for a sec. I didn't. Good job. Sometimes when I'm putting my foot in your ass, I know. I, your foot in their ass, I got you, right? Coach. You yes, Coach. Okay, so just it's, just it's just getting that energy back up, right? Yes, Coach. Everybody, you know, just wake up. Yes, Coach. You hit the climber. I know. Bro, okay. why does it got to be the same era? Wes Welker okay, and Jillian that's Edelman. That's fine, that's fine. CS12, baby. I like it. That was, that's what it reminded me. I'm just saying. I've got to believe, Buzz. Wait. That's what it reminded me of. We're in the huddle. We're like, it's going to be a hell of a story someday. Got to vote, Buzz. That's a great drive, bro. That, that's the kind of drive we need two weeks before a game. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. the kind of drive we're in yeah. two weeks. From now, we're doing that. Hey, as long as we're Mountain West champs at the end of the year, that's all I care about. I I know you're trying to come from my right end position, but it's not happening. Bro. What's up, guys? That's a, that's a good job. That's a good camp, okay? I'm really proud to announce your 2019 captains, okay? These are the guys that were voted by you guys. Um, and uh, I think you guys did a great job of choosing your rep representation for 2019. Uh, first guy representing the defense. Senior linebacker Lucas Weber. Yes, Come on up here, Lucas. Senior defensive line, lineman Halsia Sakona. Senior running back Kelton Moore. Yeah. Senior wide receiver, Caleb Fawcett. Yeah. Hey, good chance. Back on me, back on three, one, two, three. Back. Hey, offense, off offense, come here real quick. Hey, I know that wasn't, you know, our best scrimmage, guys, but hey, we got 14 days, man, 14 days. So all that little stuff, let's clean it up, let's focus in these next two weeks. It might not go away first half, second, but we got to keep going, keep fighting, bro. Hey, it's come a long on. season, stay in, man. You it's never know. Let's go, let's go. go. Hey. Hey, pack on three, pack on three, one, two, three. It's a lot, you know. Uh, that's a that's a big honor, you know. Um, I've been through a lot since I've been here, and uh, just to know that my teammates trust me and to be a leader, it feels it's a great feeling. Around and the other captains that were named too. I mean, you have House, you have Kelton, and you have Caleb. To be named with those guys, it really means a lot. And to have the team name it, it wasn't the coaches. It was it's really a huge honor. You know, at this point of camp, I, I really just wanted to get this over with tonight. I I didn't want anybody to get hurt. I wanted us to get good work in, and um, I'm really happy this is over with, to be honest with you. And we kept everybody healthy, and we'll learn from this film, and, and we'll start getting ready for Purdue on Sunday. Hey, Carson, why don't you come on in? Sit down. All right, I want you to have one of these. Um, there's just some things that... I really wanted to talk about with you and I want you to know that you're our starting quarterback and you're number one on the depth chart and what I want you to understand is that all the hard work that you put up to this point this is just the beginning okay and you know every day is an opportunity to prove yourself and you know it's 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 uh uh I have a huge respect for the job you have to do on the field on Saturdays, and I just promise you that nobody's going to work harder for you than Coach Mummy and myself in putting you in position to make plays, okay? And, and that's preparing you and getting you ready, okay? So um, I want to congratulate you on all, the, all your hard work so far and wish you good luck, and uh, let's go to work, huh? <laughs> Good deal, buddy. Appreciate you. Thank you, Coach. You got any questions? Okay. Okay. Good deal. All right, buddy. Thank you. Yep. You know, we recruited Carson, uh, been in his house, uh, just seen how he's grown up and where he's come from. He's come in and worked extremely hard with Matt and, 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 and Clayton. Um, 
you know, just excited for his opportunity. He's done a great job and he deserves it. Yeah, it was a good feeling that he has confidence in me and I'm just excited to go out there and play with my teammates and getting ready to win. You know, Carson, you know, I think he grew up in front of my eyes. Uh, he he stepped up into that role as, as QB1 right now and um, he, he's rolling with it and, you know, we're confident with him. I just want to be known as a winner. You know, we want to win the Mountain West Championship and that's the only goal for this team. We want to go out there and win every single game and if that's not your mindset, then you really shouldn't be out here. For me, it's the most nervous time of the year, the time when I feel the most butterflies for any team I've ever covered. It's when the optimism, the hope, the promise of training camp stops and the live fire begins, the violent reality of football, the regular season starts. It sounds cliche to say it's like everything, um, but it does mean an extremely a lot to me. It's, it's a passion I haven't really felt with anything else in my life. When you're out there playing and you're, you know, you're making, if you make a play or guys around you are making plays, there's an excitement they don't really feel in anything else. This is a great group of guys and it's really special and I'm just really excited for us to show what we've worked so hard this offseason for and I think that guys and everybody else in the world I think will be shocked except us. You know, we've worked so hard and I'm really excited for game one here at Mackey. I think that they got a little taste last year. They know that they can be good. And they know that with the right kind of commitment, uh, they can be very good. We want to win this division. We want to represent this division in the championship game. And the goal is to win the championship. We coming. We coming this year. 